Uh, Nikocado is skinny. Nikocado Avocado is now um, a thin man. He has been losing weight for over two years. It remains to be seen how he lost weight, but his video Two Steps of Head with him eating a giant plate of noodles uh, talks about how he has um, he has uh, played everybody with the greatest social experiment of certainly his life, but the greatest social experiment that he's ever seen. Now, if you'll remember, I spoke about this a long time ago, that Nikocado Avocado, when he started his channel, he was a very talented musician, he was a violinist, he was a dietitian, he was a vegan, and then over the course of time, he gained an absurd amount of weight, doing extremely over-the-top theatrical stuff with his gay boyfriend, um, really, really emphasizing his expansion, expansion, his growth, like pull and his helplessness. He really emphasized this. He pulled out his tummy on camera and flapped it around, and he emphasized a couple things: a, that he had gotten fatter; b, that he was helpless to his addiction to food, and there was nothing he could do. He just had to shovel more food into his face, even though it made him fat. And three. It made him sad. He wasn't happy that he was fat, but because he was so helplessly addicted to food and because he was continuing to gain weight, he was going to be sad. And these are the tenets of the fetish. This was his gay feeder fetish, and he sold this. He's a top 1% earner on OnlyFans. His videos grossed millions of views, shared by both people interested in the fetish and also people interested in him as a lol cow. He made millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars um, through this process. And this was at, adequately pointed out by numerous people that it was a charade. Because, very importantly, Nikocado Avocado was not fat as a child. He did not grow up fat. He grew up with a healthy lifestyle. And he knew how to maintain a healthy lifestyle into his adulthood. So it was very obvious, I think, that he was going to lose weight eventually. What he didn't do that I had expected is he did not name a sponsor when he came back. But there's still time for that. Like, now that the video has dropped where he kind of, like, shocked everybody and said, look, I've lost 200 fucking pounds, 300 pounds, whatever he lost, um, now he can start communicating with sponsors and being like, well, you know, um, I can say that I lost weight drinking your product or eating at your store or whatever and kind of fulfill that role. And then he'll make millions and millions and millions of dollars. Uh, so I expect that that will happen. So, he's a fat trader. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, the people who are posting pictures of his butthole and stuff, like, oh, he can't undo this. He doesn't want to. That's, like, money for him. The fact that he became a meme and went viral, that was, like, what do you, the, what do you hope for? He probably didn't expect to get as much success as he was, uh, as he was doing. And with all the money... It's very easy to get like a dietitian and get like a, a workout counselor because he doesn't have like a real job. You know what I mean? It's not like he has to balance work and life to accomplish his goals. His goals are just to lose weight. So, yeah, he can be a, a Mexican Jared Fogel. Exactly. Millions and millions of dollars. Who? What would be the funniest thing for him to... Here, here, let's do some chat participation real quick. What would be the absolute funniest thing for him to, to partner with um, as a, for his weight loss? Pfizer? Pfizer doesn't own, own Ozempic, does it? A personal chef plus personal trainer. Simple as... Yeah, exactly. You get those two, you're down pat. Just don't eat anything else. Grinder, Pfizer, Subway, Pizza Hut, <laughs> Kiwi Farms, <laughs> Truvada. I don't know what Truvada is. Is it like an Ozempic? Ozempic, Open AI, Baldo, McDonald's, Bad Dragon, Dildos, Hardee's, Ozempic, Switzerland. I thought Ozempic was Dutch, not Swiss. Mail order tapeworms. 
<laughs> that is pretty funny. The official Ukrainian government. He is Ukrainian. He can be Slava Ukrainian. I lo- how, how did I do it? I went to the front line. I volunteered to join the armed forces of Ukraine. And I fought in the Battle of New York and the Battle of Kerch or whatever the fuck. And I lost 300 pounds by killing the evil Nazi Russians. And then millions of fat people will join the Ukrainian armed forces. The Ukrainians will fit three by one in like phalanx. They'll have, make, make three by three formations and then put the fat Americans up front wearing like ceramic plates. And they'll just use them as like battering rounds to break through entrenched places in the, in the cities and stuff. Russia will be completely fucking overwhelmed. They will have no idea how to handle modern day phalanx. This is how we're. This is how it's gonna work. <laughs> um, it's how you win, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, that's Nick Gatto. Whatever he lost weight, good for him. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.